Evening folks, sorry about that, bit of a uh, bit of a delayed start there. Uh, I was just trying to sort something out on the stream. How is everyone? Happy 2023, happy new year. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us, uh, assuming that we do have some people uh, with us on the stream. I uh, hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas uh, and a fun new year celebration. If you, if you did celebrate the new year, um, I didn't. <laughs> I was pretty unwell from Boxing Day. Um, Still got a bit of a croaky voice, so apologies if uh, if I do sound a bit croaky. Hopefully the um, hopefully the sound quality on the stream is okay. Um, I trust that there are people in the chat who will let me know if, if there are issues. It uh, looks like the video quality is okay as well. Um, I've chucked up a poll. It looks like the poll's working, um, so that's good. Um, just answer if um, if you have an opinion. Um, otherwise, just click the little cross and, and it'll go away. Um, just curious to know your guys' views on the, the time of the live stream and whether it would be helpful for some of you if we did it a little bit later. Um, I know in particular some people who have, uh, who have children might prefer it to be a bit later. Um, also, if we did move it to 8, I might be able to move the, the draw close time to 7pm instead of 6pm. Just give people an extra hour to get those last minute entries. Alrighty. Hey, Chris. How you doing? Hey, Liam. Good to have you here. Hey, Kelly. New year, new shirt. Absolutely, it is. Uh, in fact, it's a, uh, a Christmas present from my mum, so thanks mum for the new shirt. Um, definitely got the memo uh, on that one this year. Hey Nikki, uh, bit crackly, but sounds just like my voice to be honest. Yeah, there is a lot going around, Kelly. Uh, everyone's pretty unwell at the moment, I think. Hey there, Susan, how are you? Happy New Year. Hope you've, uh, hope you've had a nice Christmas and New Year. Hey Jonathan, hope you're well, mate. Hope the... Uh, Hope the bread is doing well. Um, I saw your comment earlier, you haven't bought a loaf of bread since you won the bread maker. That is awesome to hear. That is exactly why we are running these competitions, to make people's lives easier in the kitchen, um, to get awesome kitchenware into your homes. Uh, so really good to see that getting such good use, mate. <clears throat> hey Brian, happy new year everyone. Good luck, yeah, good luck. Good luck to everyone and happy new year to everyone indeed. Radio, um, guys, we have a few people online watching, so let's uh, let's make a start. We've got three draws that we're going to run tonight. The three first three prizes of 2023. Um, we had 70 winners in 2022. Um, obviously, we were only running for three or four months. Um, I think we had just under 24,000 pounds worth of prizes won. Obviously, we're looking to to beat that significantly this year. More winners, more prizes. Um, Get, get better stuff and, and more stuff out to you guys. So uh, do stick with us and hopefully we can uh, we can make, make a success of this in 2023. Hey there Tracy, happy new year. Doesn't work so well after several Guinness. <laughs> I assume that's a, uh, the bread maker you're talking about, Susan. Um, Radio, let's have a look at the prizes we've got up for grabs this evening. Um, the first one that we're gonna draw is the, uh, the Cruze starter set. Um, so that's a three-piece Le Creuset starter set. We had 150 entries available. We received 47 entries. Um, so not many people interested in this. I think we um, didn't really have much, uh, much by way of sales over the Christmas New Year period. Everyone's obviously focused on other things, um, having fun in particular. Um, so pretty good odds on all our draws tonight. So 47 tickets sold for the Le Creuset set. It comes with the casserole dish that you can see in the front here. Uh, it comes with the square, uh, the square dish there, uh, also in the beautiful cerise red, and then it also comes with the silicon tool, which is intended to, to use on the countertop um, to protect your services from the uh, the hot cookware. Um, but I noticed it actually reckons it can be used as a pot holder or as a jar gripper. Um, so if you struggle to uh, to get lids off jars, apparently this is the uh, the tool for the job. Um, so that's what you get in the Le Creuset three-piece starter set, the casserole dish, um, the cool tool, and the, uh, the square dish there. Like I said, we had 47 entries for that. Let's flick over to picture-in-picture uh, picture so you guys can see the, uh, see the draw details behind me a bit clearer there. Uh, looks like that's switched over now. I assure you, B. Smith from Esha isn't the only name on this list. <laughs> I did just notice that um, as I was starting the stream. Um, we do have more entries, of course. Um, lots from Yorkshire, 
a few scattered around the rest of the country, Warwickshire, Devon, Gloucestershire, uh, yeah, more North Yorkshire there, uh, Ayrshire, of course, um, Kent, Essex. So, uh, yeah, entrants spattered throughout the country, but there were just 47 tickets taken. So uh, it may take us a wee while to find a winner, um, as usual. And for the newbies, uh, if we do not draw a winning number, we will continue to roll the random number generator until we do find a winner. Uh, so we don't roll our draws forward if we don't have a winner. We always make sure that we find a winner on the night. So I'm just going to reset this random number generator to zero. That's what you've seen me just do there. And then we're going to pop in the, uh, the parameters that we need for the draw. So that's one to 150 there because we did have 150 total tickets available. Um, going to have a quick look at the comments before we roll the random number generator and just uh, to see who we've got, see if anyone else has joined. Uh, may have cocked up and forgot to put milk in after a few bevs. Uh, did you put Guinness in by mistake, Johnny? Or uh, <laughs> was it just a milkless milk bread? Use Guinness instead of milk, Liam's onto it. Uh, Radio. good luck to everyone that's entered. Um, if you have entered, give us a fingers crossed in the comments. Um, if you do win and you're watching, give us a celebration in the comments. Love to hear from you guys. Um, but without further ado, let's draw the first prize of 2023 for the kitchen draw. And the winning number is 131. 131 for the Le Creuset three-piece starter set. Let's see, do we have ourselves a winner first time round? Bit of a scroll down to see if we've got a name against 131. We do indeed. They're in the chat. <laughs> they had a couple of wins last year, and they're our first winner of 2023. So Jay Lee from North Yorkshire, congratulations, mate. 131 on the random number generator. 131 on the entry list. Uh, you have won yourself this uh, awesome and beautiful Le Creuset set. Let's get your details whacked in there. Uh, Jay Lee with ticket number 131. Let's just double check that. Jay Lee there. Uh, v Austin, one off. Sorry about that. Um, I know you've been with us a while and don't think you've had a win yet, but uh, for now it's Jay Lee with 131. Congratulations, mate. We'll, uh, we'll get that career off to you tomorrow. Of course, I'll be in touch just to uh, confirm your delivery details as per usual. I uh, always like to make sure we're sending the prizes off to the right address. Uh, but congratulations, give us a, a celebration in the comments. Uh, and I will get this stuff off the desk uh, so that we can move on to draw number two for the evening. Let's pop that down there. Let's look after this puppy and pop that down there. Rightio, what are we going to do? Draw number two. Uh, of course, it is an air fryer because it wouldn't be the kitchen drawer without an air fryer, although we do have a couple of weeks where we don't run them, but uh, try and have one most weeks because they are very popular. Just gonna make sure that's on the desk properly. Uh, don't want it falling off. A quick check of the comments here. Well done, Johnny. Yeah, well done. Big yes from Jonathan. Well done, Johnny. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, for Kasha as well now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You're gonna uh, you're gonna bake your bread in your uh, bread bread maker and in your Le Creuset. Um, tell you what, I've got a Le Creuset and we make a lasagna in it, uh, and it comes out really well. Actually, it's not something that I would have would have uh, thought would work well in a a littered Le Creuset. But uh, if you want the recipe, let me know. I'll I'll send it off to you when I uh, when I send you the prize. Hey Nikki. Hey Gordon. So being back at work with your slick spreadsheets, you know it, mate. Love a good spreadsheet over here. Rightio, let's get on to, uh, to draw number two, guys. So draw number two is the Tower Air Fryer. Um, it was the most popular of our draws this week. We had 150 tickets available for it. We sold 60. Um, so again, pretty good odds this week if you have entered for the Air Fryer. Um, this is the Tower Express Pro Combo Vortex. Um, the names are always a mouthful uh, with the Tower Air Fryers. Um, it's a single chamber model, um, so you can cook a lot in there at once. Um, it comes with a rotisserie, um, so you can cook rotisserie food in there. You can uh, you can do kebabs. Um, you can get some separate accessories like a, a spinning uh, a spinning basket for your air frying. It's a pretty versatile machine. Um, they call it a ten in one because it's not just an air fryer. It does roasting and baking, even dehydrating as well. So, pretty great piece of kit that one. Let's uh, first of all reset the random number generator. Don't want to go 
clicking uh, generate by mistake and causing confusion. So we'll just set that to zero. And then we'll take a quick look at that entry list there. Um, so again, we've got your Ayrshire's and your North Yorkshire's. We've got some Perthshire's in there. A uh, bit of Essex going on, a bit of Gloucestershire, a bit of Leicestershire, Brent, Lothian. Yeah, as you can see, we've got uh, a few more entries in this drawer than we had in the previous one, um, but still some gaps there. But same deal, uh, if we don't find a winner with our first roll, we'll just keep rolling until we do draw a winning number. So there's your 60 entries for the Tower Air Fryer. Let's pop the... Uh, pop the range into the random number generator, 1 to 150 there, 150 on the entry list. Good luck to, uh, to everyone that has entered. Liam, you're absolutely right, this is a lovely community. Um, everyone is always um, so congratulatory um, and so happy and friendly in the chat. I absolutely love it and it, uh, it makes Tuesdays the best day of the week for me by far. Um, of course, making people winners of Kitchenware is also pretty awesome. Uh, let's make a start on this draw, draw number two, the Tower Air Fryer. Uh, the winning number is, little drum roll, number 14. Number 14 for the Air Fryer. Looks like we do have a winner first time round, um, so no re-rolls. Um, I do not believe they have won before, although I do believe they have been entering for quite a while. Um, S. Haydinger, hopefully I've pronounced that correctly. S. Haydinger from North Yorkshire with entry number 14. You can see it in the list, you can see it on the... Uh, See it in the, sorry, in the generator. You can see it on the list there as well. Let's pop those details in there. Can't remember if I've seen your name in the chat this evening. So if you are there, please uh, give us a wave, give us a shout, give us a celebration. Uh, pretty sure you're a first time winner. Um, great to see the, uh, the first time is coming through. Congratulations to you. You've won yourself an air fryer. Not quite in time for Christmas, but uh, certainly in time for the rest of your 2023 meals. Are you in the chat? Quick look. Uh, it looks like you've been tagged, uh, but haven't seen your name pop up. We'll keep an eye out. Um, everyone give, uh, give them a big congratulations, a big whoop whoop. Uh, love to see those first time winners coming through. Um, yeah, it looks like a few people possibly know you as well. Um, so that's brilliant. In time for Christmas 2023, Kelly. Absolutely. Winner, winner, chicken, rotisserie dinner. Now, Mr. Biddles, coffee machine time, crossing everything for you. There's a few people crossing digits for the coffee machine. Um, so without further ado, let's move on to that. I'm gonna uh, get the air fryer out of the way here. <clears throat> Pop that down there. It's gonna be troublesome once I'm able to um, increase the number of prizes that we do draws for. I'm probably gonna run out of room for uh, dotting things around me, but I'll figure it out. Where there's a will, there's a way. Um, now with the coffee machine, I've actually taken it out of the box because I think it is a beautiful piece of kit and I want you guys to be able to see it properly in all its glory. So there she is, the, uh, the Melita Cafeo Solo in chili red bean to cup coffee machine. As you can see, it's, um, it's really narrow, this machine. Um, so it's actually, it's quite different from some of the other ones we've done, the Sage ones, which are quite wide and bulky. It does have some length to it, but um, it'll slide quite nicely into some of the smaller kitchens. Um, we had 150 entries available for the Melita coffee machine. We received 43 entries. Um, so best odds of the night on the coffee machine, 43 entries um, of 150 potential entries. Um, yeah, it's a bean to cup coffee machine. So um, chamber for your beans, chamber for your water. Um, the spout here actually um, can move up and down. So if you're making an espresso, you can shuffle that down to get less splash back. Um, you can set it to singles and doubles. So a neat little machine, um, good quality brand, uh, well respected in the, uh, in the coffee machine community. Let's take a look at the entry list. Like I said, 43 entries received. Let's just reset that to zero before we move any further. Reset that to zero. 43 entries for this coffee machine. Um, we'll do a quick scroll down so you can see your names. I can spot a couple of the names of, uh, of people who are in the chat tonight. Um, obviously, good luck to everyone that has entered uh, with all those gaps in the entry list. Again, it may take us a while to draw a winner, but for the last two draws, we've had a winner first time round, so you never know. Uh, maybe the, uh, the generator will smile upon us and we won't have to keep you guys waiting too long to find a winner. So... 43 entries, let's whack the range into the random number generator. Then I'll take a quick look at the uh, 
the comments in the chat, see if uh, see if a previous winner has uh, popped their head up. Doesn't look like it. They're uh, clearly busy. Maybe they'd prefer in uh, an eight o'clock draw time. Who knows? Um, little drum roll there, Kelly. Thank you. Coffee machine is quite the stunner, uh, as is the host. Uh, gorgeous color. I assume you mean my complexion, Leon. Uh, it's a shame we already won a coffee machine, otherwise it'd have been all over this. Yeah, Chris. Uh, you all have already won a coffee machine. Um, so yeah, no need to be entering for, uh, for this one. Absolutely. Uh, Radio, let's uh, get rolling, guys. 43 entries for the Melita Solo Chili Red Coffee Machine. Winning entry is number 30. Number 30 for the coffee machine. Let's check our entry list. Do we have a winner? And we do not for 30. Uh, no winner for 30. I can see a couple of names of people who are in the chat. Probably saw their name flash up and maybe got a bit excited there. But never fear. Everyone who's entered gets another chance. So let's roll it again. 122 this time, 122 for the coffee machine. Sorry, my throat is, uh, is getting a bit croaky. 122 for the coffee machine. Do we have a winner? Big old gap in the entry list there. No names against 122. So we'll roll again and we'll keep going until we find ourselves a lucky winner. 93 this time, 93 for the coffee machine. No name against 93, you can see it in the list there. Big old blank, so we'll roll it again. Number 15 this time, number 15. Scroll ourselves back up to the top. We've got a gap. Ooh, old B Smith from Ayrshire. His luck's been in the last few weeks, but uh, 15, no name against it. <clears throat> so we will go again. And this time it's 59, 59 for the coffee machine. So close, says Liam. So much suspense. 59 for the coffee machine. Have we got a winner? Gonna slow down the scrolling, build that tension, build that suspense. 59, oh, one off again from Ayrshire, but 59 is a blank. No name against it, so we're gonna go again and see if we can get a winner for this coffee machine. 53. Don't have to scroll very far, don't have to scroll at all. Another blank, so we're gonna keep going. We obviously uh, used up all our luck with drawing a winning number in the first two draws, and now we're, uh, we're using up all the blanks. Let's go again, 134, 134 for that coffee machine. Has it got your name against it? 134. We do indeed have ourselves a winner. Pretty sure this is the first time winner. Um, they have entered a few times before from memory, but they've not won before, I don't think. Uh, quick double check, 134 on the entry list is C. Gibbons from North Lincolnshire. 134 on the random number generator, 134 on the list, C. Gibbons from North Lincolnshire. Congratulations, I don't know if I've seen your name pop up in the, uh, in the comments, but if you are here, give us a little celebration. We'd love to hear from you. Um, you've just won yourself that Melita Cafeo Solo Chili Red coffee machine first time winner um, so that's two first time winners tonight um, so looking pretty good for the first timers in our first week of 2023 let's get the details whacked in there see Gibbons looks like we might have had some uh, some family entries there S Gibbons C Gibbons from North Lincolnshire but it's C Gibbons who's won themselves the coffee machine so we will be in touch once we've concluded tonight's uh, stream We'll confirm your delivery details and we'll get that couriered off to you uh, tomorrow and hopefully that should arrive by the weekend. Don't know if there's any postal strikes this week. Um, if there are, because we use parcel force, it may be a little bit delayed, but uh, hopefully uh, hopefully not. Let's have a quick look at the old, uh, at the old comments. Sandy Haydinger, hello, I'm late. You are late indeed. You are late indeed. Have you clocked yet? The, uh, the result of the draws that we've already done. Uh, you missed it, Sandy, says Susan. Hey, everyone, sorry I'm late. Oh, you're forgiven, Andy. Good evening, mate. Hope you're well. So close, Liam. Uh, sorry, that's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. You have to have people that are close, and you have to have a few winners. Squeaky bum time, Susan. Absolutely. 
Oh, Liam, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, always great to uh, congratulate the, uh, the winners, even if it's not you. Well done, says Johnny. A few woos from the McCains there. I wasn't even in their last draw and the suspense was killing me. Uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't have too many more like that, that we have to wait too long. My Facebookless wife is very happy with her win. Oh, hey, Scott. I'm um, guessing you could be the S. Gibbons there, but that's, uh, that's fantastic. Um, great to see that you're, uh, you're there representing for your wife. And uh, yeah, big congratulations to her from us. We'll get that courier off to, you, to her tomorrow. And uh, yeah, as Jonathan says, maybe next time, Liam. Maybe next time. Look, guys, that is the three draws for this evening. Um, we obviously, as always, will be launching three new draws tomorrow. So do hang around if you've got the time, and I'll take you through the uh, the prizes that we're going to be launching tomorrow. Let me uh, let me get the coffee machine off the desk here. Where am I going to put that? We'll put that over there. There's the box for the coffee machine. If anyone was interested, um, it's just a box. Let's get this moved down here. Don't drop it, Max. That would be an expensive, uh, an expensive mistake. Righty oh, so tomorrow, three new prizes launching. Um, let's have a quick look at the uh, at the three that we've got coming tomorrow. So the first one that I want to show you is a dinnerware set from Barbary and Oak. Um, we haven't done anything from this brand before, but they are really beautiful. Um, pieces of dinnerware. So this is a 16 piece dinnerware set, comes with four large plates, four medium plates, four bowls and four mugs. Um, I've grabbed one out of the box there just so you can have a closer look at it. Uh, really beautiful um, slate and terracotta finish on those, um, high quality, uh, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, really beautiful uh, Barbary and Oak Verona 16 piece dinnerware set there. Um, in slate and with that, uh, that terracotta finish around the bottom. Um, so that's the, the first draw that we're going to be launching tomorrow. Only 100 tickets available for this one. Um, three pounds to enter. I can't actually remember what the, uh, the retail price is on tomorrow's draws, um, but it'll be listed on the, uh, on the products on the website. So yeah, um, that beautiful Barbary and Oak dinnerware set coming live on the website tomorrow morning. So if you're in the market for some new dinnerware, keep your eyes out for that one. Uh, Radios. So that's the first prize that I wanted to show you for tomorrow. Uh, let's have a quick look at the old comments there. They're lovely, Kelly. Absolutely. I think they are quite gorgeous. Um, don't have any Barbary and Oak stuff myself, I don't think. Um, but they do make some really nice stuff. Um, the next prize, I'm just going to hold up the box and then I'm going to put it straight back down because it's a massive box. It's quite heavy and it's definitely not going to fit on the desk. Um, this is actually the, the biggie for next week. Um, we've done one draw for a similar product in the past. This one's a little bit different. Um, let's stop rabbiting on about it and give you guys a look. So this is the uh, Uni Karu 12 multi-fuel pizza oven. That's probably about enough for me. Uh, quite an awkward box to hold. So. Um, last time we did a pizza oven, I think it was a gas-only model. Um, this is a multi-fuel, um, so you can use um, charcoal or wood straight out of the box, um, or you can buy a separate um, gas installation, uh, or get an only branded gas bottle, um, and you can run it off gas as well. So it's a, a multi-fuel pizza oven, but you can use it straight out of the box with, with wood or charcoal. Um, Really popular draw last time, the pizza oven. This is only the second time we've we've run a draw. Um, I don't have one. I would absolutely love one. Obviously, it's more of a, a summer thing, but I'm sure there are people out there who um, who use their pizza ovens outside year-round. Um, probably people who barbecue year-round as well. Jonathan's bags eat it. Uh, Susan wants it. Sandy's interested. Liam's keen. Yeah, we've got a few uh, change views. Thanks, Chris. Uh, just saw that just as I uh, changed the view. I need to uh, I need to put a prompt up above the camera maybe to remind me to do that because I seem to forget every week. Uh, yeah, so that's the uh, that's one of the, the prizes we've got going up tomorrow, the Uni Pizza Oven. Um, we will have 150 tickets and just three pounds to enter for the pizza oven. Uh, so pretty good, I reckon, for that one. And then finally, uh, the third prize for tomorrow, um, surprise, surprise, it is a, an air fryer. 
Um, it's a Ninja, it's a Foodie Max dual zone. Um, this is their larger model, the, the 9.5 litre. Um, so it's got the two drawers. Um, this is actually the model that, that I've got at home. Um, been using it quite a lot, used it at Christmas. Um, it was actually a godsend, helped us um, get, the, get the potatoes uh, finished off. And uh, what else did we do? We did the sprouts, we did the pigs and blankets, uh, did a few other bits and pieces in the air fryer, I think. So uh, really was a godsend, godsend for Christmas and gets quite a bit of use week, week in, week out. Um, you can sync up the baskets so you can have them cooking um, two different uh, functions with different times and you can sync them up to finish at the same time. When I say two different functions, so this has got um, air fry, uh, max crisp, uh, no relation, roast, bake, uh, what are the others, reheat and dehydrate. So this, this model also has a dehydrate option. Um, so you know, if you've got leftover fruit that's going to go off or go, go rotten, um, chuck it in the dehydrator. You can also do things like a, um, uh, a slow cooked beef in the dehydrator. Um, so yeah, uh, fantastic model, very popular brand, very popular model of air fryer. Um, was sold out a lot in the last quarter of last year. Um, don't know how it's doing online at the moment, but uh, yeah, we'll have 150 entries available for that for three pounds each. So three pounds per entry for all of the prizes next week. Um, 150 tickets for each of the air fryer and the pizza oven and just 100 tickets for that Barbary and Oak dinnerware set. So get in early um, in case it does sell out. Um, although we haven't had any sellouts for a while, you never know, next week could be the week. Um, and that's about us for this evening, guys. Um, we have planted 1,271 trees to date. Every time you place an order on the website, we plant a tree. Uh, and we are inching closer to uh, 1500, which is awesome. Uh, I get excited by it. I know a lot of, a lot of uh, the rest of you do as well. Um, just something something nice that we do uh, on the side. Um, yeah, not much else to say really, guys. Thank you for, uh, for joining us for the first live stream of 2023. Thank you to everyone who was a customer in 2022 and all of our customers coming into 2023 as well. Uh, big congrats to our three winners tonight. Um, please do share the word, guys. I know a lot of you already do, um, but you know, really appreciate it when you share the word. If you are going to tell your friends and family about it, uh, about the kitchen drawer, you can use your referral code that you can find in your account on the website. The person you refer, they'll get 10% off their first order using your referral code, and you'll then get a five pound uh, voucher to use for yourself. So um, it helps us if you refer people, but we also want to make sure that it helps you. So uh, yeah, every new person that you bring to the website, um, you will get a five pound voucher. So uh, bear that in mind if you are recommending us to friend, family and friends and colleagues. Um, but for now, guys, I will, uh, I will call it quits there. Hope you all have a lovely rest of your evening. Have a lovely rest of your week. Hope it's not too brutal being back at work and see you guys next week. Take care.